Now in its 24th year, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is the oldest and most prestigious nationwide mathematics competition among high school students. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. Hi, my name is Hazel Joyshi. I was a past Philippine Math Olympiad national finalist. In this video, I will be discussing the topic on word rearrangements. So the number of ways to arrange these n objects is n factorial over n sub 1 factorial, n sub 2 factorial, n sub 3 factorial, up until n sub k factorial. And then as a remark, if all of the objects are distinct, then all of this n sub 1, n sub 2, so, so on for, so forth are just equal to 1. So all of this 1 factorials are just equal to 1. So you just end up with n factorial, which is your um, classical um, permutation of n objects. So now let us proceed with um, solving some problems from PMO qualifying stage. So for the first one, we have part 1 number 11. In how many ways can the letters of the word qualifying be arranged such that the vowels are all in alphabetical order? So now we will be doing permutation with identical objects. So we classify each object into certain types. In this case, um, each letter corresponds to a different type. So you have Q equals 1, L is equal 1, we have 1F, 1Y, 1N, and 1G. But for all vowels, we will just be taking them as one type. So you have four uh, vowels. So now the question is, how come all of the vowels are just considered as one type? Even if some of the vowels are different. No? So in here, you can see you have one U, one A, and then two I. So the reason behind it is because um, the problem wants that the vowels are in alphabetical order. So once we choose uh, the positions where the vowels will be filling out, then you already know how they should be positioned. It would just be um, A and then I and then I and then U. So it's just as if all of the vowels are just the same. Uh, so, so there. So now we will be using um, permutation with identical objects. So you have a total of 10 letters. And then, so you just divide it by 6 i's from 6 different consonants. And then you have uh, 4 factorial for the 4 vowels that we considered as identical objects. Then we simplify. So we, we divide um, 10 factorial by 4 factorial. So we are left with 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 times 10. So which is equal to 151,200. So the answer is letter B. Now let us proceed with um, the 12 PMO qualifying stage for regions 1, 2, and CAR. So for part 1, number 7, in how many ways can the letters of the word Olympiad be rearranged in such a way that the vowels appear in alphabetical order and the consonants also appear in alphabetical order? So in the same manner as the previous problem, we just consider all of the vowels as one type and then we also consider all the consonants as another type. So you have a total of 3 vowels and 5 consonants. So you have a total of 8 factorial over 3 factorial, 5 factorial ways. So to simplify, you can cancel out 8 factorial with 5 factorial. So what is left in the numerator would be 6 times 7 times 8. And then on the denominator, you, you have um, two, you can expand 3 factorial to 1 times 2 times 3. So you just cancel out 6 with 2 and 3. So you are left with 8 times 7, which is 56. So the answer for this um, item is letter D, 56. Alright, so let us proceed with next item. So from the 23rd PMO qualifying stage, 
Part 1, number 3. In how many ways can the letters of the word panacea be arranged so that um, the three A's are not all together? So now, what we're going to do is first to count the number of permutations of panacea, so which you can just easily use the, um, the concept of permutation with identical objects. And then, we subtract all of the permutations of panacea wherein the three A's are together. Okay, so to count for the number of permutations of panacea, so you just count all of the distinct letters. So you have 1P, 1N, 1C, and 1E. And then you also have three A's. So you have a total of seven letters, and then you divide, so that's seven factorial all over. So you have four one factorials and then three factorial. And then to count for the number of permutations of panacea where the three A's are together, so we just take all of the three A's as one object. So now you have one object that is three A's, and then you have one P, one N, one C, and one E. So you have a total of five distinct objects. So to permute that, you get five factorial. And then you just need to simplify. So, um, so the first expression would just be 4 times 5 times 6 times 7. And then you can expand 5 factorial. You can factor out 4 and 5 there. So you get 20 times. So for the first expression, 6 times 7 is 42. And then for 5 factorial, you factored out 4 and 5. So you are left with 1 times 2 times 3, which is 6. So 20 times 42 minus 6. So that's 20 times 36 so which is 720 so the answer here is letter D 720 now for the last item we will be introducing what we call as the principle of inclusion and exclusion the cardinality of S sub 1 union S sub 2 union S sub 3 is just equal to the cardinality of S sub 1 plus the cardinality of S sub 2 plus the cardinality of S sub 3 minus the cardinality of S sub 1 intersection S sub 2 minus the cardinality of S sub 2 intersection S sub 3 minus the cardinality of S sub 3 intersection S sub 1 plus the cardinality of S sub 1 intersection S sub 2 intersection S sub 3. Alright, so now let us proceed um, with the last problem that we will be discussing so this is coming from the 13th PMO qualifying stage part 2 number 10 in how many ways can the letters of the word murmur be arranged without letting two letters which are the same be adjacent okay so we let a sub 1 be the set of permutations of murmur where the two M's are adjacent and then we do similar conditions for S sub 2 and S sub 3 except that for S sub 2, we want the two U's to be adjacent. And then for S sub 3, we want two R's to be adjacent. And then what this problem is asking is the number of permutations of murmur. And then you subtract the cardinality of S sub 1 union S sub 2 union S sub 3. And so using the principle of inclusion and exclusion, so you have here this one. Okay, so to compute for the permutation of murmur, so you just need to count the number of distinct letters. So you have two M's, two U's, and two R's. So you have a total of six letters, so that's six factorial all over. Two factorial, two factorial, two factorial. So now, we want to compute for the number of permutations of murmur where the two M's are adjacent. So we consider the two M's as one object. And then you have two U's and then two R's. So you have a total of five objects. And then you divide it by one factorial, two factorial, two factorial. And then you also do the same thing for S sub 2 and S sub 3. And then next. So we want to get the cardinality of S sub 1 and S sub 2. Union uh, intersection S sub 2. So... In here, we will be treating the two M's as one object, and then we will be treating the two U's as another object. And then you have another two R's, so you have 
four factorial all over one factorial one factorial two factorial and then you also do the same for um, the other two um, s sub 2 intersection s sub 3 and s sub 3 intersection s sub 1 and then lastly so we want to get the cardinality of the intersection of the three sets so you just take the two m's as one object you take the two u's as one object and then you take the two r's as another object so you have three distinct objects so just that's just the permutation of three objects so that's three factorial and then you just simplify so you get 90 minus 30 minus 30 minus 30 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 minus 6 so you have a total of 30 so the answer for this problem is 30. The Mathematical Society of the Philippines is the country's premier professional organization dedicated to the promotion of mathematics research and education in the country. Founded in 1973, it has grown from a small Manila-based group of math educators to a nationwide network of individuals with chapters all over the country. The Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is organized by the Mathematical Society of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. The 24th PMO will be held online in two stages, the qualifying stage in February 2022 and the national stage in March 2022. The start of the registration is January 2022. More details are in our Facebook page and also in our webpage, pmo.ph.